Wow. We rolling. <laughs> um, welcome to a couple of words. Once again, this message is brought to you. Well, by IHOP, which we just had. It was good. They're not a sponsor. We just had them. Yeah. We're going to continue to Man. speak into existence as far as sponsorship. Because mm. one day we will be sponsored. Yeah, just in case I up here is this. Shoot. Y'all baking temptation. Shoot. It's very good. However, you are going up on the prices. Shoot. Dollar for dollar. But you got to make your money. You trying to get the sponsor. Would you... I'm just saying, it's customer <laughs> feedback. I could put that on Yelp, okay? <laughs> All right. Um. So this episode is going to be, well, episode number two is going to be about coworkers. Everything in relation to the people that you work with, the people that you truly see the most every single day, why you don't want to see them anymore, mm. so on and so forth. Ain't that the truth? But first, the let's... The good, the bad, and the ugly. All the ugly, but some good. Yeah, definitely. More bad than good. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, okay. (laughs) Let's go. First, we're going to jump into our first segment of Fun Facts. Travis. Yes. Did you know? What? Dimples are actually a genetic defect that are caused by a shortened facial muscle. Dimples are caused by a fault in the subcutaneous connective tissue that is developed in the embryonic phase. I know this, but why are you bringing it up? Because I because I like my dimples. Yes, you have a defect. But I already know this. And I'm just trying to let you know about your defect. You are petty. <laughs> I'm just petty. saying, you know, I only have one genetic you petty, defect. You got boo. two. You got two of them. This is rude. You got two shortened muscles. This rude. You your, got you got age. you got a defect in your emotions. Wow. Right you, now. You can't even have a comeback. Your defects are cute though. I guess. I guess that's a body positivity. I guess that's nice. I You're guess. Welcome. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I'm glad God showed me to you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> you are such a blessing. All right. So since you knew our fun fact, maybe you won't know our second area, which is the segment number two, <sighs> the guessing game. All right. First question. Lyrics, finish these lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner. What? Yeah. Yeah, you've lived in America for how long? Why you gotta be loud? Why you gotta get loud with me? <laughs> because I didn't know. <laughs> Dang. Whose bright stripes and bright stars finish the line? Through the perilous fight? Continue. No, I ain't trying to finish. That's all I'm supposed to know. You said Continue. Like the Continue. Line. I'm sorry. Finish the uh, line I think after. I I think no, I, I you won. didn't finish. No, you didn't finish. Hey. Finish the rest of the line, Travis. Hey. It's the national anthem. Hey. It's the national anthem. Get you, you better, get your hands you better up. give me my points on Jeopardy. You better Fine. Give me my points. Ding, ding, ding. You yeah. get it. You get Through bonus points. Perilous fight. Finish it. What's the next line? Put your hand on <laughs> <under> your heart. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Or the ramp. Wait. That's really it? Or the ramparts we watched. Or the ramparts we watched. You're not even singing it right. I don't know. I We're don't... so gallantly streaming good job babe you halfway know yeah, I, but I knew what I was supposed to know bro wow are you one of them people who when you get up and stand for it you just have your hand over your heart you're not one of the actually I do way more than that I say the parts I know and then I mumble the rest <laughs> and I just be moving my lips you just, <laughs> shut up <laughs> okay question number two um, do you remember Miss Mary Mack? 
Miss Mary Mac, Mac, Mac. What? Black, black, black. What did she ask her mother for? Snap. <laughs> On the song? In the song, what did Miss Mary Mac ask her mother for? An apple? I don't know. An apple? Miss <laughs> no. Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black. Look at black, him. He got to sing it. She asked him for a snack? What? No. She had silver buttons, buttons, buttons all down her back, back, back. She asked her mother, mother, mother for. Come on. I see I, your eyes are just so bright and shiny. They're just looking at They're so face. bright and shiny because <laughs> I actually never heard that much more of the song are than what serious? you just said. Never paid attention to this song ever, like ever. Didn't you, do you remember this part? To see the elephants, elephants, elephants jump over the fence, fence, fence. They jump so high, high, high. They touch the sky, 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 and they never came back. Back, back to the 4th of July. She asked her mother for 50 cents to see the elephants, Travis. That's cheap. (laughs) (laughs) See, you be getting loud with me today. (laughs) Okay, fine. Last question, and this is a for the culture question. For the culture. What was Drake's character's name in Degrassi? The rapper Drake played in Degrassi. I know it. Why did my mind go blank just now? What was his character's name? Oh, snap. Why did I go blank? I don't know. I'll be Drake. Why are you saying his name? I forgot the lines of when he got shot in the back. He did get shot in the back. That's a half a point. I'll give you a half a point. He was in a wheelchair. He was in a wheelchair. Wheelchair Jimmy. Yay! Jimmy. I had to say wheelchair. I had to say wheelchair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wheelchair Jimmy, correct, correct. So you got you got two points. I got like four points. I don't you got two about. points. I, the only one I got wrong was uh Miss Mary Mack. Yeah, so I passed the class. Nah, that's a good seventy five. Maybe. Yeah, barely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you pass. Okay. All right. So the topic at hand is we're just talking about coworkers, people that we see more often than our own families. We have to spend so much time with them. We can't actually pick them. They're almost like family. You can't pick them. They, they're they literally there because they need a job to pay bills and eat just like you. Yeah. So Travis, what I don't understand is why do people go out with coworkers after work if you see them all day? If they if they have a similar struggle and then they talk to each other at work all the time about other people, then they go out after work and drink about other people and talk mess about them. I've been around. Really? I ain't going to say y'all's names. <laughs> but y'all know who y'all is. Oh, okay. Because I've went out for drinks with them. Mm-hmm. And I ain't going to say our name, but yeah, if they talk about their person at work or they have a similar struggle with this one person or a couple of people, then they got their little click and they'll go to drink afterwards and talk about that person, you know? No, I'm good. I would rather just go home. I mean, yeah, I'm with you, you all the no time. If you don't have no similar struggle of like constantly talking to, to this person about certain people over and over again. Then you gonna you're not gonna have no need to go out. But what if you talk things. about everybody though? Hmm? I mean, what if you talk about everybody though? The two, the two or three people? Mm-hmm. Then they gonna they definitely gonna go out afterward. They're gonna go, they're gonna have birthday parties together, everything. They're gonna become oh best my friends. God. So you gotta it talk to like The thing is, I made a rule, and you know this, that I do not go out with coworkers. This is a strict rule for me. No. And I and the the few times I have broken that rule, you already know the stories. It was just terrible. Oh man, would you be wanting to say that, or is that for a different segment of this? 
Um, I mean, I I can go into that story. I can go into those stories. Actually, you feel like you should. Um. So would they even know? No, nah, they wouldn't even know. I don't go yeah. out with coworkers because I see you constantly. I don't want to even really be around you. So why would I want to go out with you after I've been with you for eight to twelve hours? Yeah. There's no point. I I want to see people I actually really love, not you. So I got roped in to actually going out with a coworker who got sloppy drunk. Sloppy. Sloppy drunk. Mm. And there's a difference, I mean, between races who get drunk. Oh no. It no, is it's not. It is. Some people act very very differently amongst races. I've noticed personally, just like people act differently between male and females, how they get. Mm. It's just kind of like, it's just kind of how they are. And. You want to get racist on here? I'm not going to get racist on here. (laughs) I'm just, there's a reason why they say white girl wasted. Yeah, that's because they just get shown off. But there are black girls that get white girl right, wasted. So is that really white girl right, wasted? I don't know. It, girl, I is don't that, know. It's is just, that just you just trash wasted. I'm gonna just change it to that because or is that airhead wasted. Airhead wasted. I don't know. I'm not a drinker, and I don't really care about your race. But I've just noticed there's a prevalence. As to why they call it white girl wasted. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I feel you. I feel you. I just, I, I know I've, that part. Yeah. After true. I've seen it, I'm just like, that's why they call it white girl wasted. Okay. Okay. So I was with my coworker who just so happens to be um, an Anglo Saxon brethren, a part of the. Sistren. Sistren, sorry. Sistren. A part of the Caucasian persuasion. Okay, mm-hmm. nothing against that. I'm just saying that's just what she was. Mm-hmm. Um, gets sloppy drunk, and this is like a like a a whole unit that has gone out to go eat. So everybody who works on our unit, plus other units, have gone to go out to go drink or whatever. And I don't drink. I'm the only one who's actually like truly sober. She ends up throwing up in the bathroom. So they say we need to take her home. I take her phone to call her boyfriend. He just sends a text saying Uber her home. And I'm like, first of all, dang, because you don't even know me. Mm-hmm. I get the Uber. I put her in the Uber. But then I think I should go with her. She's very, very drunk. Like, she can't even give me the code to unlock her cell phone. So mm-hmm. wouldn't you go with somebody like that? Yeah, you would try to make sure they okay. You would, right? you don't want to look at the news and then they on the news the next day. You're like, oh, man, I could have just helped out a little bit. Yeah, and then you just there looking stupid at their funeral. Yeah. So. If you're going to go, because you don't go out with <laughs> I know. I mean, yeah. might as well go to the co- funeral with their coworkers anyway. Yeah. So she gets in the Uber. She throws up all over herself in in the Uber. Mm-hmm. The Uber man pulls over into a Walgreens. I clean her up in the Uber car. Up. Oh my god. She sends us to the wrong address, but she's too drunk to tell me where the heck she really lives. Yes. Mm-hmm. So the Uber driver kicks us out. I finally get in contact with her boyfriend who gives me the right address. Then when we get out of the car, which the Uber driver rightly kicked us out of because he she just threw up on his car anyway and gave us the wrong address, tries to fight me in the middle of the street. <laughs> tries to fight me. What? I have this little scrawny girl, granted, I'm not the biggest person in the world either, tries to come at me to fight her. We finally get a new Uber. She gets in the car, 
dropping all kinds of F-bombs against the Uber driver. He's just looking very much so confused. But she gets in the car. We drive to the rest of where she's trying to go, which is her house. Mm -hmm. Gets out the car. I look over. She pissed in the seat. Oh, my goodness. The boyfriend, her boyfriend, comes out of the house, sees her, tries to come at me thinking that I did something to his girlfriend. Oh, my God. The Uber driver looks at me, starts screaming, just get in the car. These people are crazy. He already can tell. He what's already going knows. On. He was like, I just want to live. I just, just want to live. Just get in the car, ma'am. Just get in the car. So I'm I trying can, to save you. Get in the car. Get in the car. So I get back in the car. I forgot his name, but I know he was 60 years old and he's been married three times and he's just started buying Uber and he's contemplating on getting a divorce with his third wife and he smoked the e cigarette all the way back. This is the Uber driver? This is the Uber driver. All the while, I'm looking over to the left of me at this piss stain that this girl didn't left. So this is the reason why I do not go out with co-workers. And I still work with her to this day. Oh, no. To this day. To this day. To this day. And that's just another really crappy story of why I don't go out with co-workers. I have, every time I've ever gone out with them, it's been terrible. Mm -hmm. Something has happened. Mm -hmm. I just don't go. Oh, wow. So I notice you whenever you go out, y'all have so much fun. It's usually nice. Y'all have man it's usually dates. Not, it's be it be men and we go out in the daytime on an off day and nobody's was getting pissy drunk. Yeah. They might get a little drink here or there, but they staying contained. They're not trying to be embarrassed. White girl wasted. Yeah, they ain't trying to be white girl wasted. I mean, and that, it's a mix of people. It's like black people, Asian people, white people. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. I love happens. the diversity of that. I love the diversity of that. But she she hit that stereotype that I had never yeah, truly saw before. And yeah. I was like, wow, I'm not here for this. It made me think for a second. I was like, did she slip something? Does she do? Does she do drugs? Yeah. Am I taking care of somebody who does drugs? <laughs> I mean, I know you didn't have people you worked with who did drugs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those people I didn't go out with. That's when I was working as a personal trainer. And you start to see some of these trainers are not using caffeine to get ready for the gym. They're like, yeah. No, they're using cocaine. Yeah. It's serious. <laughs> it's like cocaine and steroids. <laughs> it's like, bro, you're not trying to live past 50. 50, saying 45, what? 45. <laughs> 45. But it's steroids and cocaine. And I was like. But the thing is, how did you know they were really doing cocaine? Because I finally saw it. Oh, you at saw first, it? Yeah. Wait, first, you never told me that. Yeah. At first they was doing like, so at first they was doing just like, you know, pre-workout and lifting. And I was like, okay. But then one day I was like, damn, they super wired up. And so another personal trainer was a female. She came up to me and was like, you know, they do like straight up cocaine, right? And I was like, what? <laughs> and it's just, it's like two of them. It was just two of them, their workout partners. And she was like, they, yeah, they've been doing cocaine. And like, they've been a little off. And I was like, really? So then she was like, yeah. And she gonna open up the drawer where it's at and it's some packages of the white powder and i was like are you that serious? book of sugar book of sugar book of sugar was in there oh that powder that magic dust yes that that scarface oh lord so they go scarface before they go to the that powdered the sugar <laughs> before they hit the squats <laughs> they be like the world is mine and they go take on all the weights and I was wondering why they be so hyped for the weights, but they was doing cocaine, protein, and steroids on the side. Why? What? Why would you sprinkle in protein powder? Yeah, and then, and then our and manager was even doing some coke. Is what was going around as well. As long as they but didn't. But he miss. was like super hyped about like you know get the sales of these personal trainers, get these. It was like that Hulk Hogan black but black. <laughs> <laughs> Get these personal, get these 
personal training sales. You got to make sure you sell them right. He uses an auto sales tax in the Wolf on Wall Street. Ooh. Wolf on Wall Street. Act. What's his voice? That raspy? Yeah, it was raspy. It was raspy. It, was that the cocaine? That was the cocaine. It was all of it, I think. It was cocaine and coffee in the morning. That With the like, protein. So the coffee yeah. pretty much coated his throat. Yeah, he got to let go. <laughs> 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 yeah. It remind I don't know why I got like the other time that happened was with my coach and he was in, in college and he was on cocaine and I walked in and he had to he actually had the powder on his nose, but we ain't gonna get into that. We talking about co workers. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we talking about co workers today. What? Okay, what what's the next what? question? <laughs> next question. Let's keep going. <laughs> Do you actually like the people you work with? Uh, right now, yes. Right now, yes. I got a couple of people that's like, oh, like keep them at a distance. But then most people right now, yes. My last job, yeah, I like them. They were nice. They were all nice. I've never worked liked. There were like a couple people in the bunch. You know, you got those. It's usually everybody for me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not lying. And the thing is, I'm. You know me. I'm really easy to get along with. I truly, I am. Yeah. It's just for some reason, my entire working life, I am stuck with people who just are wild. They don't care about your feelings. They don't. (laughs) Like, they just don't. And I'm just like, there. If they feeling bad, if they had a bad day at home, they bringing it to you. They take it to work. Take I've heard of out. taking it to home, but they they bring it they home bring to work. they bring home to work. That happens at hospitals a lot. They, they bring it. an inpatient. I could see that they were bringing home to work, especially when they ain't got no control at home of people. Yeah, they'll bring that control to yes. you. Yes, I mean, effect. I remember one time. Did I ever tell you how I found out at my old job? I was getting medications for a patient of mine. The girl who I used to work with, just walked in and got a phone call. Her husband had called her on the phone while I was picking up medications in this little room that he wanted a divorce. And I heard the whole conversation. Oh, goodness. And I was just like, you don't don't feel like this is a personal conversation? You don't don't feel it? And all I hear is, what are you talking about? And I'm just just trying to get my medication. Oh what do you God. mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? And I feel like you don't feel like this is a personal conversation where you could you should leave. Yeah, you should take a second. Like, can we you watch leave? my patient? Yeah, I just feel like just because we're coworkers does not mean we're friends. And a lot of people mix that up. Yeah, if you're trying to separate the two, yeah, because some people are able to find a friend at work, which is I'd be like, dang, that's nice. That is nice. But I found I I think I found. Probably three people who are actually good friends. So the thing is, I guess these people think that we're friends, but we're not. I'm just nice, but we're not friends. Mm. Don't expect me to just text you on my off day. Right. You bought me donuts and I gave you like fashion tips. We not they friends. Like, no, they like, no, I brought you donuts. This so is a friendship. And I I'm brought like, you donuts. So you're going to give me emotion. No. No. And you're going to give me your ear. You gave me a chocolate glazed and I'm going to give you some courtesy. Okay, okay. Okay, that's that's <laughs> where, that's where it stops. I don't know. Do you think would you rather have your own business or just stay working for someone else? Own business, definitely. Own business. That's what we that's what I'm working towards. Why? Definitely. Uh, you can move on your own accord, definitely. Definitely, you have to still work hard no matter what, but you get to move on your own accord and you don't have a ceiling of how much you can actually push yourself to make. There's no ceiling. In time span of, oh, I got to wait for this raise. I got to wait. You can make your own raise. Like, I'm going to make my own raise. True. I'm going to have my own control. And nobody's telling me how to make this money, how I have to do something and somebody in my ear all day. That's true. I mean, I feel the same way, too. I feel like more than anything, I 
coworkers kind of push you back because I've had many coworkers tell me, well, if you quit this job, it's going to be the same no matter where you go. Like, it's all going to be crappy. Like, I feel mm. like I've gotten more negative kind of feedback from coworkers in terms of business ideas and ventures than like encouragement. Mm, right. So I can see that. That's neither here nor there. I feel like they all just kind of <laughs> <laughs> they all trash, but I'm sure people think I'm trash too. So it don't matter. It's all good. Yeah. Hmm. It is what it is. It is what it is. But anyway, that pretty much uh, that pretty much concludes this podcast on coworkers. Comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell. True. Hit it. If you're on YouTube, that's a notification button. The tube of views. The tubes of you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. I love it, y'all. Peace. Bye. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> wow.